Now, vote counting has started in chart after a tense presidential election on Sunday that is likely to see President Idris Deby extend his three-decade rule, despite signs of growing discontent over his handling of the nation's oil wealth. Election officials began counting ballots at a polling station in the center of the capital, N'Djamena, immediately after polls closed, watched by a group of observers. Vote counting is underway in Chad following an election on Sunday. The outcome is expected to be the same as usual. President Idris Deby winning another term. This would be his sixth. But the backdrop has been tense. Several major opposition figures boycotted the poll. They include runner-up in the 2016 election, Salah Kebzabo. He's vowed to make Chad ungovernable if Davy wins. Several recent anti-government protests also turned violent, and there was a heavy military presence on the streets of the capital in Jemena on Sunday. Davy seized power in a 1990 armed rebellion. He's maintained his position as one of Africa's longest ruling leaders via a firm grip over state institutions and one of the region's most capable militaries. In 2018, Davy pushed through a new constitution that could let him stay in power until 2033. He was among the first to vote on Sunday. It's done. We have voted. And now we are going home to wait for the ballot box to speak. But there are those who allege the ballot box is told what to say. Opposition figures have described Sunday's vote as a masquerade and said Chadians are tired of pretending elections are free and fair. On Friday, authorities arrested several people, including at least one opposition leader. The reason, they said, was a plot to assassinate politicians and bomb polling stations. The opposition said the arrests showed mounting repression under Deby. The government has rejected... Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.